Hey there, I'm your host Lasawi, and in the last video I showed you how to create AI chase. In this video I'll show you how to create so that the AI attacks you when he's in range. So if I hit play over here and make him see me, he'll chase me down and he'll hit me. So there we go. And I have five different montages playing in an array. So every time he hits me, the attack will be different. And with all that said, let's begin. Open up your project and let's go to the content drawer. Over here, I'd like to show you my animations before we begin. So I'll go to the player animations and here are my five montages which I'm using. And since my AI is the same skeleton as my player, I can simply just reuse them, which is very handy. And I've also added a sword to my character and it's simply a skeletal mesh and I have a tutorial for that. If you'd like to do it, I'll leave it down below in the video, in the description. So let's go into our NPC, which is here. And I'd like to create a variable to hold my montages. So let's hit a plus and call this attack anims, which is a descriptive name. And then here, let's say anim montage. There we go. And we want a object reference. And also click over here and make it an array. Otherwise, you'll be able to have just one compile it. And once you've done that, we can get it and just click as many pluses as you have animations uh, or montages. So convert them into montages. Then we have three, four and five. Just like so. That's perfect. And from here, let's get a length. Then let's get a copy. And then from here, get a random integer connect it into the copy and this is our beautiful array then let's create a custom event and call this something like attack because we want to call this event after our ai has gotten to the player so on cpon at the very end on success call the attack there we go then let's create some code inside of our attack event first uh, let's do once and then I would like to disable my movement so whenever my AI is attacking me, he's not sliding on the floor. So let's get our character movement and simply from here, disable movement. And after the montage or the play montage has played, we can enable it once again. So from here, let's do play montage. Then for skeletal mesh, of course, it's going to be our character mesh. So plug that into there. And for montage to play, it's going to be our array. So connect that like so. Then also, if you want, you can play a sound, which is pretty cool. I don't have a sound, but if you'd like it, just put it there. And uncompleted, let's do character movement and set movement mode. And we want to say walking. So there we go. And hook that up uncompleted to there. And also a safety check create a delay and uninterrupted we can have a delay for example of one if something bad goes or if something goes wrong we'll be able to re resume the movement so simply hook that up there and that should be fine so let me just uh, compile and save and if we go and hit play the ai should see me and once he's seen me he should play those five montages so that's one and of course they're going to be random so he's not playing. Ah, yes, I forgot one thing. So at the very end, here, you just want to reset this. So I'll make it look nice. Or actually, it already looks nice, but it'll be more clear if I just do this. And once that is done, let's check this again. And our AI should continue to hit me. So there you go. We're going to disable the movement. He's going to hit me and once he's done that he's gonna resume the movement so it's working as it should so guys uh thank you for watching if you liked the video leave a like if you didn't leave a dislike and as always happy developing